What is going on to you, Leos? <clears throat> so, you Leos have the King of Cups and the Six of Cups. Uh-oh. And then you have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands represents the person that is coming back in. Okay, let me... The Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands represents... That's my dog over there. But the Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups represents the uh, rate, the... Uh, getting all these notifications... The six, of, the six of Cups and the Ace of Wands represent uh, the individuals that is coming back to you and trying to appease to you, right? They want you to know that they are taking you seriously and that they would like to really be in a relationship with you for real. They're not going to mess around. The Ace of Cups represents, though, you're watching it. A lot of you Leos are looking at it like, now that all of this other type of stuff has happened, great. Now it seems like they're interested in trying to get to trying to get with you and trying to get back together with you. But the thing about it is they shouldn't have to even try to get back together with you in the first place if they would have played their cards right from the very beginning. So then now the Five of Cups now represents how, and, and they know that they really messed up big time. They know that they shouldn't have been playing all those types of games with you. They know that they should have acted like they had a little bit more common sense. But they wanted to actually be very dysfunctional and they wanted to play games, right? They wanted to get gifts, cash, prizes. They wanted to use you, right? And obviously that type of stuff ain't really work for them the first time, right? And I'm not saying that they're doing that now, but what I am saying is so far so good. It looks like they're really feeling the pinch of feeling stupid. The Nine of Pentacles represents... And here you are as Leo, suited and booted. Y'all are okay. Y'all have an abundance. Y'all are, y'all are having abundance. Y'all are essentially uh, uh, wrapped and paid and suited and booted to the gills, looking good, feeling good, doing whatever, doing whatever it is that you do. And those individuals, they feel in the pinch of it because, like it is with Virgo, they spend so much time stereotyping you. And looking at you from a perspective of you broke, talking about who's broke. The brokest people in the world is always pocket watching other people, talking about other people broke. And they don't even understand what broke is. Broke represents you just don't have money for a time, but it's not a consistent thing. Poor is when you never have any money. You owe somebody, or if you don't owe somebody, you just consistently, you never have anybody, any money. You don't have anything. You don't have a, a, a you don't have a, a, a window. You don't have a window to 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 let in fresh air. If you know what I mean, they don't know. They don't have any of that. That's what being poor is. Being rich or is 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 different too. You really want to be wealthy to where if you stop working, you could survive a year, two years, three years. That's what wealth is. And the thing about it is. A lot of you Leos who's been doing it correctly, all of those double shifts, all of that ghosting the world, dubbing the world, staying patient, working, saving, all of that type of stuff is starting to pay off because the four of wands now, okay, and the nine of wands represents just that. Why would you, why would you Leos, and a lot of you Leos are looking at it because a lot of you Leos are looking at it from a perspective of why would you get back together with this person who hit their head, right, up against the ceiling, right, metaphorically speaking. Let me just make it plain. Why would you, Leos, get back with somebody that didn't want to respect you, respect your livelihood, respect your life, that spent so much time being disrespectful? Why would you, Leos, want to hang around a person who thinks like that in the first place? They didn't want to cooperate they didn't want to you know you, you you had to make them submit and and and, and everybody's so caught up with this idea of submission that's that sharia law draconian babylonian sumerian ideology because you know what submission means you know what it you know what it denotes submission means you're going to do it you're going to cooperate with me even if i even if i have to break it into your skull you know what? You know what Yehoshua was saying. Yehoshua, that's what Allah 
was saying. Yahushua was saying, uh, decide. Meaning that if a person doesn't want to be with you, if a person doesn't have the sense to see your value and choose from their own free will, their own decisions, that they want to be with you, then what's the point of trying to force these people? What's the point of trying to coerce these people? And now you, Leos, are understanding it from that perspective too. Yeah, what is the point? This person chose to not be with you. Now they're coming back talking about how it is that they want to get back together with you because they understand how stupid they was being. But this is the problem. <laughs> Sometimes people overdo it. They do too much. They talk too much. They overdo it. They over they overdo it. They overplay. It. That's my dog over there. They overdo it. They they overplay their hand. And then they get stuck in a situation because they expect to go back to an ex, which is in this reading is you, Leos, and they expect you to take them back. They want you to take them back. And then the Nine of Cups and then the Empress. Here they are yet again. Here they are yet again. You're looking at it and you're like, they did this to you once where they was playing games with you. They're not playing games with you now because you didn't let them back in. But this is what I'm trying to say. This is you visual, visualizing it. You're not going to let them get their foot in the door again so that they can do this. They can kick back and feel like they're at a pool party. They can sit back and toast and not do squat. And the Empress, now they can feel like they don't have to do anything. And they can talk trash to you. And they can treat you however. And they can be disrespectful. That's not how it's going to go. The King of Wands represents, because for you, a lot of you Leos get it. Y'all are going to maintain. Y'all are going to be decent. Y'all are going to continue to be on your own program. And when I say, when I say, what I mean when I say program, I mean your own time. A lot of you, a lot of you Leos are not so hard pressed for relationships anymore. A lot of you were in 2021, but not anymore in 2023, which is coming quickly, coming to an end, moving into 2024 from 2023. A lot of you Leos are understanding that unless the relationship is built right, it's a, uh, the relationship is really more of a burden than it is a blessing and you're right let's clarify the six of cups eight of pentacles ten of pentacles eight of swords page of swords right the eight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles now that you've got some things going, now all of a sudden this person wants to come back. What is that about? What, what, what is all this? What is all that? They playing games. And that's how a lot of you are looking at it. Like, are they playing games with you? The Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords represent, here they are now trying to take a quote unquote accountability after the fact that the two of you couldn't work out. Now they want you to sit and think on whether or not you'll take them back. See, this is what it is I'm talking about, Leo. People do it to themselves. They dub themselves being disrespectful, doing way too much because, because like it is I said before, at some point, everybody gonna have to get off of the ego. They don't have a choice. At some point, people gotta get off the game. They have a choice. They actually do have a choice. What I mean when I say they don't have a choice is they have a choice. But those choices is doing them in. Then they want to come back and be and cry to the internet. <gasps> Tear, fake tears rolling down their 
from that rolling down their cheek from their eyes. <sighs> why did this happen? You know why that happened, stupid. It happened because you was playing games and you couldn't get off the games that you was on for whatever reason. You just had to play all these types of games because you enjoyed playing games that much. Now look at your goofy behind, wasting time, trying to play extra, trying to play like you as, you as, you as Mr. or Mrs., you know what I mean, fly. And now look what it is that you doing. Now you bankrupt looking for somebody to subsidize stuff because you falling on hard times with your with your with your lazy self. So let's clear let's clarify the King of Wands now. The Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, the King of Cups. Oh, the, the Ten of Wands. This is something that I forgot too. The King of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Empress. The Empress and the King of Wands also represent. Hey, that's my dog. But the King of Wands and the and the and the excuse me, the Queen of the, the Empress and the King of Wands also represent. They're going, you know, you don't want them to, you know, get into anything with them where they're looking at you. They're they're looking at you and trying to get you jealous every five minutes when they get comfortable trying to talk to somebody else. Be, or I should say because they're trying to talk to somebody else. You don't want that. You ain't interested in that. And then the situation with that is, to clarify, the Nine of Cups represent you got your own. But the Queen of Wands, they're still, you don't, you don't, they play too many games. King of Cups, you're moving forward. And then the Ten of Wands, you're not, you're, Ten of Wands represents them trying to atone, them trying to make up for it. But the Queen of Wands and the, Ten of, and, the, and, the, and the King of Cups, you remember how they were in the past. And you just keep looking at how they were, how disrespectful they were. And that's the type of games that they like to play. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. <laughs> 